there's another proceeding right now, even as we speak up on Capitol Hill, and that, of course, is the House impeachment proceeding, the public aspect of that. Uh, we've had Ambassador Sondland, who's been testifying throughout the day. Uh, what do you take from what's being said? Because it doesn't sound to me like he actually heard the president say there's a quid pro quo. Well, quite frankly, I'm, I'm pleased that as much of the facts as possible are getting out. These open hearings are critically important. It is very clear that they've connected the dots. That is, that the president wanted to have this investigation take place before the release of the funds or a visit to the White House by the president of Ukraine. I think that's pretty clear, uh, and I understand the testimony today reinforced that. Uh, Senator Cardin, the thing that gave rise to this entire incident is actually the importance, the strategic importance of Ukraine as an ally, and of course the incursions from Russia into eastern Ukraine. What do you make of our current foreign relations with Ukraine? How does Ukraine deal with us? How do we deal with Ukraine while these proceedings are going forward? Well, David, you're absolutely right. That's why there was such outrage in Congress when we heard the funds were being held up because we recognize that Ukraine is vulnerable and Russia is trying to compromise the independence of Ukraine, trying to prevent it from being, being uh, integrated into Europe. And th we needed to help them. And what was a great concern, Congress appropriated the money. Why was the administration holding off on those funds? And is this undermined, in your judgment, Ukraine's position with respect to Russia? Has it weakened their position with Russia because the relation with the United States doesn't seem as solid as perhaps we would have liked it to have been? Well, absolutely, David. It plays into Russia's playbook, Putin's playbook. If we, in fact, are not living up to our bilateral understanding with Ukraine, it shows that Russia perhaps has some influence on what is happening in regards to the U.S. policy. So it played into Russia's playbook.